the protocols of Zion, the learned elders, the void and conquer the angels. That's what happened um, when these islands were broke apart. What is the main tool that they use to divide and conquer the angels? And who are the angels? Fee foi fo form, I smell the blood of an ang English man or an angel man, an angel man. Be he alive or be he dead, or grind his bones to make my bread. Mob, his scent and his taste remains in him. So basically, all the religions of the world. Uh, made to devoid us and who's the main target well if you know anybody that knows anything about the occult and human sacrifice religion they value little boy boys that's what they like to sacrifice the most for whatever reason so there's a verse in the bible and it says the they will fly on the wings of philistines to the west me i live in the west i live on the oils of elijah you probably know them as Britain, Ireland, Iceland, and Greenland. That's what you probably know them as, and a couple of other Outer Hebrides. All of these islands are the oils of Elijah. Elijah in the Bible, and Elijah, chariots of fire, have you heard of them? Well, Elijah was left behind, the prophet was left behind, the angel. And and Elijah went back to heaven and when he went back to heaven they sh he, Elijah screamed Abba Abba that's Hebrew for father father so that must have been Jesus Eli another name for Jesus in the Bible is Elisha yeah that's Jesus in the Bible because he's the one that gives the orders to Elijah the angel whose name Elijah be sure to do all that he says, for my name is in him, Jesus said, and God says, Ja. So basically, you used to have wings. You're an angel. That's why we're called the angels. <laughs> you see the name, the Anglo Saxons. That is not what, it's not really the Anglo Saxons, it's really the angel Saxons, two tribes. The Saxons were Huns. Attila the Hun, Arthur the Khan, Ethelstan. So the first king of all the Saxons and all the Gaels and all these islands is Attil, Attila, Ethel, Stan, Khan, King, Han. So basically you have in this in, on, in your life, you have people dividing you and conquering you. You have like people saying Britain and Ireland, Greenland and all different countries and we're different tribes. No, we're not. We're the angels that flew to the west. The the the, the, the pictures of us in our angel of our ancestors in the angelic form can be seen in the book of Kells, which was written on the island of Iona allegedly. So Ben Oni is probably the name of the island of Ben Onia, who's got his Yah Oyona. So Hoi Bernia, it's all ending in Yah 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 is Jah. So. It could be a do so they're all linked to the name Jah, who which is the name for the most high. In the Bible over a hundred times it says stuff about wings. Now, if you're looking for someone let's just say people did have wings. What we'll do is we'll go to the early start, we'll go what we'll do, we're doing detective work here. We'll go to the very start of what we call civilization. Um, Samaria. Is there anybody there with wings? Well, actually, there is. So then we go to the Bible and we we'll see is there anybody mentioned that being in Samaria at the same time as the people with the wings were in Samaria? And actually, there is. So there's Elijah when got sent to Samaria, Mesopotamia. So there we have a likely candidate. And then if we go through history, this guy with the wings. He's around. He's in a few. He's in different centuries. He's been named. He's been mentioned right up as far as the tenth and eleventh and twelfth century in Europe. The eight, the tenth century in Ireland. The Swan King, who has a stout leg, in the saga of King Callahan, Lady Moore, or the Annals of the Four Masters. You can get all this on the internet. This is the truth. 
people used to have wings. So people, you're being used and abused, and you don't even know it, and you're too thick to. Li and some most people are just too stupid to listen. That's the facts. They just do not give a fuck. They're happy in their little rat race. Leave them to it. As far as I can see it. Michael the Archangel. This is the thing about Michael the Archangel. Michael the Archangel never wanted to um, allow those those creatures that have taken many forms. They have taken many forms, it says, to stay on the earth. He asked the Most High, could he go and remove them? And all, and the Most High said, no, wait till the harvest. So, Michael the Archangel, who stands for the children, he's been wanting to get stuck in to their people and their religions and the heathen gods for thousands of years. He's been waiting patiently until he was given the order until he's given the order to get stuck in and I have a sneaky suspicion he's gonna get stuck right in and he's an angel is he an angel well like Michael the Archangel yeah so you have um, in the Bible it says many will be made we what does that mean it says in the book of Daniel many will fall and be made we and purified well man used to be red we used to be red, ruddy and strong, but now we're we. So people are saying, see the we people are the angels that were that are here to help. That's why we're on the siege. The oil the islands of the Aryans, era this island is called. The angels is the correct to the rest of the, the nations on the earth we're angels. We're gonna most of us will probably get our wings back and do the off with Jesus. When the place is getting cooked, hopefully that's what will happen. But most is, mostly won't they do wickedly and they lose. That's their own problem. But here's the thing: you've been divided and conquered. <laughs> you've been divided by their people. Free their people. Let them have their say. There's a great. That's a song that you'll hear it in Temple Bar. Free the people. Brainwashing it is. Let them have their say. Same old shit over and over again. You could live in this country till you were a fucking thousand, and you'd hear that stupid poxy song over and over again. Free the people. That's not saying it wasn't a great song when it was made, but it's worn out. It's worn out now. So what does free their people? Their people are not God's people. Their people are dem democracy and all the heathen tribes. God's people are their inheritance. The city not forsaken. The people sought out. The Lord's inheritance is redeemed. The people are something different. You don't want to be in the people category. The people have democracy. Where any old tribe by can fall for anything. And as democracy proliferates on the earth. So does violence and carnage. Carnage is all over the earth because it's something to do with the the phonies, the Phoenicians or something. And Athena and the goddess who loves war. Ishtar, Easter, the Easter rising. So what we have on these islands is a lot of defeated individuals. How do you know we're defeated? Because we're divided. Because there's loads of people running around saying they want borders. And there's loads of people saying they want to join with Europe. Not joining with Europe. We're at one tribe. And we're going to unite and become strong and not be defeated and weak. And divided and conquered. That's not going to happen. It can't happen. Little Benjamin will lead. And little Benjamin says no. No borders. No borders, no nothing. These are the odds of Elijah, Greenland and Iceland as well. It's all after being, the history's all after being changed by the Tuat, the Danan. Tuat, their people, Danan, Dana Anna, the goddess, Athena. Same, different, dirty, evil bitch. Get rid of her. 
And what happens with her is she came from Lilith. Lilith sucks the life out of babies. 